is Janet Cage as a cameo in Mortal Kombat 1 worth getting? And more importantly, is she worth actually using? The pros, the cons, the good, the bad, the ugly. Let's go over it all and help you decide if she's worth it. First of all, subscribe here for more fighting game content. We have new videos Monday and Friday and we stream twice a week. And also let me state that as of right now, this is only day one Janet Cage, day two Janet Cage. I have more than a few hours playing her with multiple different characters against different characters. I've labbed her, I've played her online. I've tried to get myself in you know different situations and i think i'm going to answer the question first before i get into the examples as to why my answer is the way it is but when asking myself the question and helping you decide is janet cage worth it my straight up answer is just no like she's not a terrible cameo she's fine she's got a lot of good stuff sure there's just a lot of things that she does that other cameos do the same if not better there's only one thing she's really got going for her that makes her in my opinion super unique and that is of course the stunt well, double move here well, where we can control Control Janet and she has her own move set kind of like Sento when you're playing Kenshi you get the idea she fights Smith. alongside with you and then leaves the screen when the cameo bar is all done that is super unique and, and, and honestly super cool but before I get into that because that is honestly the biggest thing that makes her really stand out we'll jump back to that in just a moment I want to talk about the other things that she offers and the first thing of course as a cameo she offers combo extension and allows you to combo off of moves you normally couldn't like in Raiden's case we have our down forward to our shocker you can't combo off of that unless you meter burn it. But Janet allows you to combo off of that using her ambush cameo move. And again, that's great. But you could argue that other cameos do the same thing. Scorpion, Jax, Cyrax, Sonya. Could probably keep going, you get it. In fact, just to showcase the damage output on an ambush cameo move like that, let me show you one example. We're gonna do a longer combo with Raiden using only one bar of cameo and one bar of our super meter. And we'll see what it looks like. So here it is with Janet. Four hundred and fifty-five damage. Okay, that's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and do that same combo, but using Scorpion as a cameo instead, using the cameo in the same exact spot of the combo. Okay, so 440 damage right there. So we lost a little bit of damage, yes. So as of right now, Janet is doing a bit more damage using all three of her air punches in her cameo move. Now we're gonna do the same exact combo again, but using Jax in that same spot. Here's how that looks. Four hundred and forty-five damage right there. So again, Janet is still doing more damage, even more damage than Jax. Is it much damage? I think no. That amount of damage you want to consider it basically the same, and consider the rest of the cameos moves and what they bring to the table. Because if all you're looking for is combo extension, yes, Janet offers that. But again, so do other cameos like Jax, like Scorpion, and others. So if you wanted to use Janet just for that move she offers, you might as well use other cameos that give you different utility. Jax gives us the unblockable low for pressure. Scorpion offers a full screen armored reset move here and a good overhead for mix up game. Are those utility worth it to you as a player? That's up for you to decide and how you want to play. Now back to Janet Cage and what else she offers besides that combo extension move, which again, many of cameos offer. She has this mid hitting nut punch move, which on the surface, it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's all right. But the thing you want to note about it is it's actually a restand move. So meaning if our opponent is falling to the ground, we do that nut punch and we land it, it'll restand our opponent giving us the pressure back as the aggressor. And here's how that looks. So normally this combo right here, it knocks our opponent down as you can see there, allowing them for an armored wake up attack, stuff like that. But if we use Janet after that, here's how that looks. You see there, our opponent is now restanded. We can go in for that pressure, going for the mix-up game, whatever we want to do. And again, many cameos offer that same thing. Like for an example, Sector can do that same exact restand idea. There's forward cameo, our opponent's now restanded. We have the pressure back, yada, yada, you get it. Even Kano offers that same idea with his laser eye here. Same thing, our opponent is now restanded and we're full screen. If you as a player want to be full screen to zone out your opponent, whatever. By the way, the laser is also a mid at 60 damage. Same thing as Janet. And again, let me reinstate. I don't hate Janet Cage as a cameo. I'm just showcasing to you what she offers and if it's worth it. And so far we have two moves that are good, yes, but we've also seen that other cameos can do the same thing she's doing 
for about the same damage and other utilities she's already offering other cameos can do the same thing as well so what else does janet offer well she offers a wall here we can see here she just stands there what this does this actually blocks our opponent's projectiles and their hits so you can see here when our opponent uses janet cage like that we try to throw a projectile she's just gonna eat she's just gonna eat him up but as you saw right there you can hit her out of it so if we try to do this she's gone not only that but it's not a full wall we can just jump over janet look at that we're just jumping over her so it's like is that really even a, a problem right now she only takes three hits if you actually try to hit her out of it too like this and now she's gone so she only takes a few hits anyways she only blocks a few projectiles and if you want to do it sure you can do a combo like a corner combo like this mid-screen and that's great but most of the time i can just do that same combo or a different variation of that combo mid-screen without the wall i don't really need to do a wall combo mid-screen so i don't really find that super useful anyways and if you really want to stop projectiles just use sub-zero as a cameo and you're taking all the projectiles look at this, we can't hit him with nothing even for stuff like this he ain't gonna get hit by any of it so in that aspect of blocking and absorbing your opponent's projectiles chameleon does that as we saw right there sub-zero does that so that's not super unique to janet cage in general the wall again it's fine you can but you can jump over it as the opponent and doing a mid-screen wall combo isn't super crazy needed in my opinion i would rather take other utility that other cameos offer so when it comes to janet cage we've broken down her air combo extension game her mid hitting restand other cameos had that as well and the wall move just is it's just not my favorite i see its uses don't get me wrong but in a very fast paced fighting game like mortal kombat 1 this is not an ambush move so you have to do this like when you're available and doing that and then be able to hold the cameo button and down the entire time you do this and fight it's just in my opinion it's just not super practical maybe at like a pro level i guess but anywhere from like beginner to probably intermediate advanced i i just don't see i would rather use other cameos that have better ambush moves better utility when they're not ambush stuff like that so janet really comes down to the biggest thing that makes her special and that as we talked about earlier is the uh the stunt double move here where she has her own move set we can hold cameo button down so she doesn't move and then have uh special moves like this but as you saw that we get one out of it before the bar is basically just gone so if we get janet cage out we got forward one two three and four and then just standing one two three four for move if you get her out like this and she doesn't get hit and you don't get hit because both of those things make her go away so good luck with that you can do a move like this sure and then make yourself safe if they block it but again it's not very practical in my opinion in a very fast-paced fighting game like this where it's not an ambush move you got to get it out then play around it make her walk as you want to walk so again that right there is a big mental stack as like a as most normal players would see having to control myself and now my cameo holding the cameo button down so she doesn't move and i don't want her to move letting go to do a move like forward one which is a projectile but a lot of cameos offer projectile and that uses your entire cameo bar so is a couple moves like that worth your entire cameo bar maybe in certain very specific situations yes but for the majority of the time and the majority of players that are probably in like the that aren't in the, the the pro levels i just don't really see it i would rather take utility that other cameos offer whether it be like armor reset moves mix-up game for overhead because again in in this stunt double she offers no mix there's no there's no overheads here there's there's, there's a kick sure but it's all highs and i think she's got like one mid so it's not like center where you actually get mix-up game like that no nah, it's just it is what it is you get projectile sure you get a shadow kick and now my entire bar is gone and i don't have a cameo for quite a while i want to state one more time i do not think she's bad i think she's a lot of fun i just find that the only move that makes her super unique is the stun double move and unless you master that which again you can it'll probably be great and awesome but unless you master that there's no real point in using her so out of her four moves three of them in my opinion are uh, useless when compared to other cameos so she's got a 25% special slash unique rate and I don't, just don't find that worth using in my opinion if you want combo extension use other cameos for that again like Cyrax, Sector, Kano, Striker, Jack, Scorpion, even Sub-Zero, Kung Lao the list goes on and on almost all the cameos offer that some cameos offer mobility like a teleport like Kung Lao and Motaro some cameos offer you to be projectile and vulnerable like Sub-Zero and Chameleon some offer restand moves like 
Sector and Kano and now Janet. So I think she fits right in. She's got a lot of good stuff, but in my opinion, you're not really using her for the sake of combo extension, for the sake of having a mid restand move. No, if you want to use Janet, you're probably using Janet for that stunt double move because that's got to be her best move and her most unique move. And if you can master that, you're probably going to be insane. The skill ceiling on that is very high and that does not make her bad, but it definitely makes her harder to use. And the majority of players, 95% of players are not pro players. I'm not even a pro player and I'll never claim to be. And even I don't want to use that. I would rather make my mental stack a lot easier and just use different cameos that do really good stuff like that, but don't require honestly so much work for me. Oh, so you want it easy, do ya? I mean, if I have the option, why not? Why not make it a little bit easier? Do almost the same stuff, do almost the same damage with like 70% less work. Yeah, duh. Call it a skill issue, call it whatever you want. In my opinion, Janet Cage, she's fine. She's not amazing. She's not terrible. But with everything considered, I just don't think she's worth it. Let me know down below. What do you think of Janet Cage? Do you think she's worth it? Is she better in your eyes? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and go ahead and click into these videos next for more guides, tutorials, news, and more.